Okay, I am going to show you how to copper foil um, a dog nose. So I've cut out my dog nose shape, and I'm going to show you how to do the overlay for the nostrils and how, how to foil the whole piece. So what I'm going to do is I've got my piece cut out. So the next thing I'm going to do is this is quarter inch black back copper foil. So I'm going to put a piece across here where the nostrils are going to go. I'm just going to put it all the way across. So I'm going to cut a piece off and apply that. The glass that I'm using has a slight texture to it. Let's see if you can see that. It's got a little bit of texture, like a dog's nose is not smooth. So this one has a little bit of texture. You don't want a lot of texture because the nostril, um, the foil for the cup the copper foil that you're using for the nostrils is real small and you don't want it to lift. This is another piece that I have used. I don't know if you can see, it's got a little bit of like little dimples in it. The other side is just smooth glass, but this side's got a little bit of dimpling in it. That's also a good piece to use as a nose because it's just not slick glass. Okay, so I've cut my piece. Excuse my fingernails, I've been working in the yard. So my fingernails are stained. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on here across the bottom where the nostrils are going to be. I'm not cutting it, I'm just putting it on here, applying it. I'm gonna take my feed and make sure it is stuck down really well. Stick it on here real good not cutting anything. I'm just applying it. Um, and then I'm going to copper foil the edge just like you would normally copper foil something. <clears throat> the edge of, of your glass. to keep it centered. This is quarter inch full. You can use whatever you want, 730 seconds, whatever width you want for the edge, but I used the widest that I had to make the nostrils, which is quarter inch. You could also use some um, copper foil overlay. You just need a small piece. If you have some half inch copper foil strip, you can use that. Pinch it just like normal. All right, and I am going to use my feed to make sure my copper foil is down. All this is the same as you would do with any other. Um, foil when you're just piecing it together. So the only thing I have really done differently is put this strip across here for the nostrils. Okay, and get this. I need a uh, knife that I can get my tag off with. I can use this X-Acto knife, I guess. I'm talking to my sister. She's watching me in case I forget something. She remind me. All right, I'm going to trim my tag off. As you can see, I've got a little bit of a flag right here. Let's see if you can see that. This is not even, so I'm gonna trim that off a little bit. Same thing on the other side, I've got a flag right there. So I'm just gonna trim that off. And same thing on this side. All 
Okay. Whoops. There we go. All right. So now I've got it boiled all the way around. I've got this part done. And so now I'm going to cut out my nostrils. So I'm going to use a marker. Um, this marker's not going to work because it's the same color. I just need something to press down to make my shape. Okay, so a dog's nostril is basically the shape of a comma. So I am going to come from here. I have to think about where the nostril, how the nostril goes. All right, so come tell me if I'm drawing this right. I don't have a picture to look at. So I think that the nostril kind of does like this. Is that right? Well, I'm using my phone, so. All right, so we're gonna assume that this is how the nostril goes. Kind of like this. That one's better, I think, than this one. So we're gonna go like this, and then down, and then this goes down like this. Is she gonna be able to see that? Okay, so basically what I've done, I don't know if you can see it, is I've drawn the shape of the nostril on this strip of copper foil across here. Now I'm going to use my X-Acto knife, and I'm gonna cut that shape out. I want to be careful that I don't cut my strip that I have going around. That's This is where I'm going to copper foil this piece of the nose to the other part of the stained glass, the other glass pieces that are around. So I don't want to cut that. I just want to cut this shape right here out. So I'm going to use my X-Acto knife. And I'm going to start here. And I'm going to go around my shape. down to here. Then I'm cutting this part away. I don't need this. So I'm cutting right at the edge of my copper foil piece, outside piece. Pull this off. Do this bottom side. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I think you get the gist of it at least. Sorry, being real quiet, so that hopefully I concentrate on what I'm doing. I don't mess up, which, you know, if I mess it up, I just have to do it again. Peel this away. Peel this off. Been a long time since I did a video. Been a long time since I've done some stained glass because our studio has been under renovation for over a year. <sighs> it's 
good to be back to glass. Get back to doing what we love. Okay, one more little piece to pull off right here. Pull this off. And there you go. There are our nostrils. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that when I cut, I didn't lift the edge of the nostril didn't lift any edge of that copper foil, so I want to make sure it is secure all the way around, all of it. Now, the next tip is that we use gel flux. Oops, wrong thing. Um, we use gel flux, and if you're using liquid flux, it might be a little harder to do but we use gel flux um, and you don't want to use a whole lot of flux on here. You want to use minimal amount of flux. So I take a little bit on my Q-tip, I dab it off on here, and then I'm just going to put it on over the copper foil nostril and around this piece. You do this the same time when you, cop when you solder everything together, you're going to do all of this at the same time. So there's my flux. I might not have enough on there. We'll see. This is my solder, 50-50, so, uh, 60-40 solder. And I got my soldering iron right here. And my oven mitt so I don't burn myself, which I don't know that I'm going to need, but I will have to turn it. So we'll see. All right. So now you're going to solder this just like you would any other piece. You're going around and you're soldering your piece, your two pieces of glass together. Why are you holding your soldering iron there? I don't know. Because I wasn't thinking. Thank you. All right. So I've gone around, oops, watch my hand is shaking, sorry. Okay, now I've soldered all the way around, all my glass is soldered together. Now I'm just gonna take this, and I've got just a dab of solder on there. I'm going to touch down, lift up, touch down, lift up. It makes a little bubble, and that's it. Now it, your nostrils are done. You don't have to cut the glass. You don't have to do any of that stuff. So when you, after you finish this and you clean out your piece up and you put your um, black patina on it, basically what ends up happening is you have the black of the dog nose and then these nostrils will also be a brown black kind of color, but they're more of a matte finish and they're raised. And so it gives some depth and dimension to the nose and it's a little slightly different color if you look at your dog's nose the nostrils are black as well as the nose and so basically it's just an indention in the dog's nose and so this creates the illusion of that indention so hopefully it's not hot i'm going to pick it up so you can see what it looks like so there you go that's the piece and then basically you just clean it and uh, put your patina on it and it should come out perfectly. Hope this helps.